All righty, this is G.I. Joe, P. Or sorry, PG-13. This is G.I. Joe, 1997, and well, we're going to be looking at Slugger and the 1997 Cobra Rage. That's right, the Cobra Rage. This is this awesome looking tank. And well, there is 24 figures out of this year and I have six. <laughs> so it may not be too hard to find some of them, but it might, you never know. Now, Slugger, well, did not come with thunder. <laughs> there is no thunder here, only Slugger. This was new out of the box. And I do have the box over there, if anyone wants to see. We have the box over there. There's the box. Cool. <laughs> so we have Gung Ho that came with it. And Gung Ho is similar to the original, only they painted a little bit of brown here and there with the aqua valve. He's got the aqua velvet boots. <laughs> he has aqua green there. <laughs> that kind of looks stupid. They should have just painted his boots black. <laughs> the brown camo looks kind of neat. And his backpack is also brown. And his little detail in there is even painted. So it is a cool looking gung ho with his little grenade launcher. You know, they should have gave him also an M16. They should have had it mandatory that. All the G.I. Joe figures come with a smaller M16 and a big M16. It's a big M16. And they should have gave all these guys like AK-47s as well. Now the Alley Viper, this Alley Viper here is pretty cool looking. He's got a darker complexion. And again, he's got the cool, this one here looks pretty cool. It's not quite blue, it is like... This one is blue. So again, these versions of the Alley Viper are pretty awesome looking. Oh, we lost your shield. <laughs> so they do have a, they do fit a shield on. They do have the Cobra emblem, which is kind of strange that a lot of the Cobra figures, some of them are missing the Cobra insignity. In <laughs> you know what I mean, insignia. <laughs> Anyways, we'll have a look at Slugger's Machine. This is similar to the 1984 version, I think. Because I did have one of these when I was a kid. And there is an all green version. I think that's 2000s. We don't have the all green version. This does have a little bit of weathering. Or freckles or spreckles or whatever you want to call it. It's got some paint detail, which is kind of nice. And it does have a little engine cover, and the engine cover is painted as well. So that looks pretty nice. And, well, again, this is the crammed quarters here, you know. You gotta try to stuff your figure in there. They could have made the seat a little, like, wider. <laughs> so you didn't have to cram them down there. Well, they could have made this hatch open. We've already talked about this vehicle in, other, in another video. I believe in the 84 when we did the comparison. It does have a cool little machine gun. And it's got its stabilizer bar. And you notice the other bar from the 1980s that has the ridges. So this just has more of a thing. And a lot of us probably use it as a to clear it <laughs> instead of a stabilizer. Ooh. We don't have the earthquake vehicle, so we gotta use this. <laughs> Clear the debris. Oh no! <laughs> there goes the Darwin house. Didn't see that coming. It does have a tow hitch here. And uh, when I had one of these, I played with it till one of the wheels broke off, and I kept playing with it because it was still a cool vehicle. Mm, this artillery gun. <laughs> nice that this is stiff and it actually 
holds well. And it's got some cool decals. 33. The slugger. And then we have some Cobra Rage. With the Alley Viper. This seats, well, we can fit uh, two on the pegs here and two on there. That's four. We hold seven figures. And oh, there's a surprise. It holds more on the back. <clears throat> we'll get an aerial view of this. So it holds up to nine figures. Did you see the rage tank? Ooh. Now, in my view, this is kind of cool. But again, I think they should have made it bigger. And they could have put a cool turret on it instead. But, you know, Hasbro cheaps out, makes things smaller, scales it down. Like, this is kind of an awesome, you know? Oh, there's another crystal ball in there. Jeez, how many of those guys do I got? So, <laughs> and we got another guy. Looks similar to the Heat Viper. But he's not the Heat Viper. Ooh. Now this here, I guess it's like a deflector. They have the deflector shields up! Ooh. And it's got a little machine gun here. A little Gatling gun. So it's kind of neat. It does have, I don't know what they'd call this thing. <laughs> this is a type of laser cannon. It's not a bomb that shoots off. <laughs> Ooh, it looks more like an exhaust port. <laughs> Anyways, we'll turn this little puppy around here. Now this does open in the side. You can see the engine. Cool details in there. And you could probably store some weapons in there. This is their... Carport smuggling vehicle. <laughs> They're smuggling weapons. Mm. Now, we, when we look at the back here, it does have two missiles here, but I'm missing two on the sides. That's the price you gotta pay. <laughs> now, unfortunately, this doesn't go any higher, but this does have another cannon that goes around, so it's kind of neat. Oh no! We've already lost some people in the dominoes today. Mm. <laughs> So this is a cool cat. This is a cool tank. It's got some different kinds of features, but it doesn't seem to want to stay up. <laughs> well, there's a malfunction. <laughs> so that opens up there. Now you see this one has. Oh, well, it does have the mines in there. Might be missing a few though. Well, we've only got two mines in there. So I forget how many it comes with, but it does come with a few. My other tank has a few in there for sure. So this is a cool little tank. You know, if they made some spikes or like grooves in this, so I get better traction, it might be awesome looking. You know, make it more like a Terminator vehicle. Come on, you need the spikes. <laughs> Just like those dozers they have at the dump. <clears throat> so for this year, I believe there is a certain amount of vehicles. How many vehicles? I think there was... We'll have a quick look. Let's see, what was it for vehicles? So 1997, we have... Hold on, we're having some technical difficulties here. It's taking too long to load. I mean, this does look good. And, and I think there's a, also a Cobra Rage in black. What the heck's going on here? This thing's taking too long to load. So we're going to look quickly here, and hurry up, we're running out of time. <laughs> there is some cool, cool vehicles, there's the uh, A-10 Thunderbolt. So that I guess they use for the good guys, because it's all in green, instead of the Cobra Rattler in blue. Then there's a Cobra Rage, so it's how many vehicles is this quickly? Six vehicles and one platform for the Stars and Stripes. We've talked about how they didn't make them too well. Flight Pod, 
That's a cool looking fly pod. I have seen one. Now this is what we have, the slugger. There is a silver mirage motorcycle. That looks kind of pimped out, eh? It's got a machine gun in there. And there is a night landing seal raft. But this is just nice. And then you have the stars and stripes. And it is an insult when they make the figures a little stub standard. Because their material is not as well. I, I use these for, for parts until I get to find a, uh, a decent set. <laughs> but as you can see, <clears throat> these are the only two vehicles I have out of the six. And I only have six figures out of the 24. So, oh yes, we'll have a quick look at the figures. But I mean, we'll do that in the other video. So, again, these are cool vehicles. We do have comparison vehicles. If we have enough time, we might be able to throw them in there. Oh no, there's a cobweb on the back. <laughs> Damn spiders. See what happens when you don't use your... So we do have the 1984 version right there. And that comes with the driver. Thunder. Can you feel the thunder? And then we have the other Rage vehicle. These ones tend to discolor, so you'll find them more customized. As you see that crap on it, I don't know if it's trying to decompose. <laughs> well, again, there's the comparison. We've got to rage the Cobra Rage. <laughs> So those are good army builders, and so are these. But again, this is a cool desert color for the slugger. And they even got some nice decals. But these kind of stickers or decals, decals were better. And uh, as you can see, they're a nice little artillery tank. Ooh, mobile artillery. So I do recommend you get a couple of these tanks. And make some cool army builders. And, well, do we have a comparison for Gung Ho? We sure do. We usually do the figure comparisons in the other videos. And we have done uh, some of the comparisons for them as well. But there you go. You think they would have made a boat for Gung Ho. <laughs> but, oh well. Or even giving them something else a little better. Anyways, so it's kind of strange that the war is getting worse. But again, like, you know, Germany's had a year to basically buy more more stuff for their army. And, well, they're just sitting on it. So something tells me they have communists in their government that are delaying the uh, German military from trying to get bigger or, or you know, like, prepare because I mean basically China has three years they might they might fight in a few months you know that's why it's called a sneak attack <laughs> so and same with Australia like oh we're gonna get some subs well the subs is not gonna do that much you need a, a stronger deterrent and you need to build up your militaries now because you might not have one year you might not have six months or you might have six years but definitely in the future China will attack even if they pretend like they're not going to China will invade because you're not building a super huge military for nothing anyways you get the whole picture wake up and smell the Chinese invasion it's coming and they're not just bringing chopsticks to slice you to bits <laughs>